Full Metal Panic, Haruhi Suzumiya, Lucky Star, Clanad, Kaon, Iwatobi Swim Club, Sound Euphonium, Dragon Maid, Violet Evergarden, A Silent Voice, and much, much more. These animes were produced by Kyoto Animation, also known as KyoAni. This is the story of the Kyoto Animation arson attack. This week's video is a bit more serious. Our hearts go out to Kyoto Animation after hearing of this week's tragic news. As such, this video won't be monetized, but I do urge those who want to aid the victims of this attack to donate to the GoFundMe that I'll link in the description. There's still a lot we don't know about this event, and there are a lot of rumors flying around. Let's go over what we do know. A few weeks before the incident, KyoAni received several death threats. The president of Kyoto Animation, Hideaki Hata, said that he didn't know if the threats were related to the incident or not, as they were sent anonymously. On the morning of July 18th, 2019, at around 10.30 a.m., the perpetrator walked into the front doors of Kyoto Animation Studio One in Fushimi, Kyoto. The studio was expecting visitors at around 11 a.m., and as such, it was left unlocked, allowing the perpetrator to enter the building without a problem despite the front doors usually being locked. He's seen here in a red t-shirt and jeans. He was carrying 40 liters of gasoline in buckets that he filled at a nearby gas station. He completely doused the area near the entrance with gasoline, as well as several employees, screaming, DIE, before setting everything ablaze. An explosion ensued. Then, the perpetrator attempted to flee, but was chased down by a Kyoto Animation employee for about 100 meters, until the perpetrator collapsed due to his own injuries suffered in the fire. The police then arrived and apprehended the perpetrator. He was found with several knives and a hammer that were apparently unused. According to the police, during the incident, he was angry and shouting about how the studio stole his work and was always plagiarizing. He is not an employee of the company, and the company has since stated that they've never heard of him or his works before. After burning for five hours, the fire was finally extinguished, leaving at least 34 people dead, injuring an additional 35, and completely destroying all materials and computers in the studio. At 10 p.m. that night, the Fire and Disaster Management Agency stated that the building was completely destroyed by the fire. Unfortunately, the building had no sprinklers, which, according to Japanese fire code, were unnecessary for smaller buildings. No deficiencies were found in the fire safety inspection held on October 17, 2018. There were 74 people in the building at the time of the fire. Out of the 34 victims, 28 died due to carbon monoxide poisoning while the other six suffered severe burns. Witnesses reported people on fire running out of the building, as well as people jumping out of windows. Several bodies were also found on the stairwell leading to the roof, but the door to the roof was unusually difficult to open. The roof itself was unscathed from the fire. With 34 people dead, this incident was the second most deadly attack on Japanese soil post-World War II. Second only to the Myojo 56 building fire in 2001 that left 44 people dead. One 23-year-old university student, who paid his respects before going to class, said, You hear about gun killings overseas, but anyone can get their hands on gasoline, and that is pretty frightening. To put this into perspective, if this was done with a gun in the United States, it would be the third most deadly shooting in US history. With the Las Vegas shooting resulting in 58 deaths, and the Orlando shooting resulting in 49. Unfortunately, several employees have been marked as missing, including Eisaku Kawanami, director of Free, Futoshi Nishiya, animation director of A Silent Voice, Kazumi Ikeda, animation director of several of KyoAni's projects, and finally, Yasuhiro Takemoto, who was the director of Full Metal Panic Fumofu, The Second Raid, Lucky Star, Dragon Maid, and many, many others. Though sadly, he's presumed to be dead, according to unofficial sources. Among those who are confirmed to be safe are animation director Naoko Yamada, who directed K-On! and A Silent Voice, Tatsuya Ishihara, who directed Clonad, Haruhi Suzumiya, and Sound Euphonium, and finally, Taichi Ishidate, the director of Violet Evergarden. We're thankful for their safety, Others who have been confirmed to be safe are Reiko Yoshida, script supervisor of Violet Evergarden, Yukiko Horiguchi, character designer for Kaon and Lucky Star, who actually recently left the company, and finally, Miku Katawaki, animator for Dragon Maid, though this is from an unofficial source. 
projects such as the Violet Evergarden movie and the Free movie will still be released according to schedule, though, understandably, some projects may be put on hold until further notice. As of right now, the suspect, Shinji Aoba, is sedated at the hospital and is yet to be questioned. He's thought to be mentally ill and even has a history of crime, being sentenced to three and a half years in prison back in 2012 after an attempted robbery of a convenience store with a knife. His neighbors have also claimed to have received threats from him in the past. On the bright side, the outpouring of love, compassion, and support came immediately. Hours after the incident, a GoFundMe was launched by John Ledford, president of the American anime licensor Sentai Filmworks. The target amount was $750,000. Within 24 hours, the GoFundMe page surpassed its goal and is currently sitting at almost $2 million, with donations just flooding in every second. It's amazing what the internet can do when we're all united in a good cause. The director of Your Name, Makoto Shinkai, tweeted, Everyone in Kyoto Animation, please take care. Crunchyroll posted a touching tribute to Kyoto Animation on their Instagram, with the caption, In honor of the studio that's brought us so much joy, our hearts are with you, KyoAni. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe posted a tweet offering condolences to the victims of the incident, saying that he was at a loss for words, as well as support from many, many, many others. Apple CEO Tim Cook tweeted, Kyoto Animation is home to some of the world's most talented animators and dreamers. The devastating attack today is a tragedy felt far beyond Japan. Kyo Ani artists spread joy all over the world and across generations with their masterpieces. I'm inclined to agree. On July 21st, President Hideaki Hata thanked everyone for their emotional support during these challenging times. He mentioned the possibility of demolishing whatever's left of Studio One and building a park and a monument in its place. Personally, I think that's a beautiful sentiment. Kyo Annie was a huge part of my childhood. As I'd grown up watching shows like Full Metal Panic, Lucky Star, and Haruki Suzumiya, and I have a lot of great memories of both crying and laughing at these amazing stories. The only thing that I can hope for is that Despite this tragedy, KyoAni will be able to rebuild and get past this incident and continue to bring joy to fans everywhere. Also, I urge all of you to donate to the GoFundMe or contribute in other ways, such as buying digital products from KyoAni directly. I'll leave a link in the description to help you out with that. And as always, thanks for watching.